Millie Bobby Brown runs from Smaug. Let's talk about it. What's up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking Damsel, the brand new film on the platform. Is it worth your time? I have made a match. A prince. So a dutiful damsel agrees to marry a handsome prince only to find the royal family has recruited her as a sacrifice to repay an ancient debt. It's rated PG-13. Sequences of strong creature violence, action and bloody images, uh, way more intense than I thought. Part of me thought it was rated R at a point because when we see the fire coming from that dragon and we're seeing what's happened to some people, I'm like, that's pushing the PG-13 boundaries, which I appreciate. Start with Millie Bobby Brown and the cast as a whole. She, as a lead, is really good. She has charm, charisma, and all of the things we've seen from her in other similar performances. And I'm not saying Enola Holmes is a similar movie, but it is a Netflix blockbuster-y type of film, and she's playing a very similar type of character to where she'll have the smarky remarks on occasion. Uh, not as much in this movie because she's in a dire situation, but at the beginning of the film, when we're building up who she is, who this royal family is, and why she's being set up with this prince in the first place, it's a similar character to what we've seen before, but I appreciate the commitment. She's really good in the beginning. She's even better by the time we get to the end because she transforms physically and mentally. Doesn't have a lot to say in the second act, but I thought the performance was great, which makes me look at the script and the movie that she's in and just just be like, hey, why, why didn't you back her up, bro? It's frustrating because she's giving it everything she has, but the movie itself has its fair share of issues. The other cast, they're good as well. Ray Winstone, Nick Robinson. The first time we see Robin Wright was such a funny reveal. It's like, hey, everybody, Robin Wright's here. I'm like, why did the camera have to do that? <laughs> oh, and Angela Bassett did the thing. She was in this movie. And I'm like, why are you? I mean, she's incredible. One of the best in the business. Why are you taking this performance and just her in general? and completely wasting her in her. I mean, you could have gotten anyone for this specific role. She has some good scenes, but as a character, pretty much everyone's wasted because, and there's a good reason, we're spending most of our time with Millie Bobby Brown. Following her character in this really tight crawl space or exploring these caves and running down these tunnels, trying to escape from this crazy creature that's following her, and kind of talking to her, and we'll talk about the voice in just a second, but she doesn't have a lot to say. Now, I like claustrophobic movies. Uh, Buried is a good example. Great performance there. Really intriguing premise. I like the idea of this being a period piece of sorts. It's much more of a fantasy. We don't really know what time we're in, but uh, she has a lot to do physically here that was somewhat entertaining. It's not as riveting as the movie wants it to be, though, and I did find myself kind of checking my watch I wasn't wearing a watch. I'm lying. Liar! Checking the time on my phone and kind of wondering, all right, how much longer are we going to do the same old thing? Because movies like this, they can feel repetitive. And unfortunately, this starts to feel repetitive within the second act, uh, about five to ten minutes in. And that's not a good sign when you're trying to create something really intense like this. And there are intense moments and moments where she thrives as an actress. But again, uh, just like the rest of the cast, it feels like her talents are kind of being wasted. And so clearly I'm a little up and down on the latter half of this movie. Let's talk about the first 30 minutes and the build up and getting to know these other characters and just uh, some of the most boring setup I've ever seen in a fantasy film. I was not invested whatsoever and understandably so they wanted to give these characters some personality but you could have done that in 10 minutes not 35. Jesus Christ. The dialogue's really rough. I get it's a fantasy we're injecting some modernism in the way that they talk and communicate but the young girls just say oh, I really like your castle like a lot kind of talking like we would today, not in ye olden times. <laughs> I see what they're doing in the first 30 minutes. They're going for this ominous buildup. The problem is we know what happens from the summary, the trailer, the marketing, the name, Damsel. We know where this is going. And so there's this feeling of get on with it already. Even without all of that, the premise is giving it away. I mean, the script is just very predictable as to where it's going to go. Uh, 
without all of these other factors playing in. And so I felt as if they wasted some time on some unnecessarily long elements in the beginning. And then the latter half, she gets to be this damsel in distress, but really fighting her way out and using her mental toughness, her physical toughness. So that showcase was cool. And she herself is powerful and strong. And I appreciated that. And I appreciated that performance. But it just feels like all of these really cool parts of this movie and even a good looking dragon at times like you know the cgi can sometimes be spotty on streaming platforms it looked solid i had no complaints in certain sequences and there's one really badass sequence that i found to be cool who would have thought not me but with all of that i found damsel as a whole to be a movie that meandered occasionally lost focus of what it needed to accomplish earlier on in the movie and by the time it ended i'm like okay it's a solid ending but that's where everybody knew it was going, give me something more. Before I give you my score, I reviewed The Gentleman, the brand new series on Netflix, and you can find my Oscar coverage on this channel Sundays, the Oscars. So if you wanna see a reaction, drop that thumbs up down below. Damsel features an excellent lead performance from Millie Bobby Brown and a few entertaining and surprisingly violent sequences in the third act, but it is unable to overcome bland and familiar execution. Once the story settles in, it lacks tension during a few key moments. It's not a bad film, to have on in the background, but it's not one that came together for me other than some solid performances and a surprisingly cool looking dragon. And that can solve a lot of problems, folks. Thanks so much for watching this video. And uh, like I said, plenty more reviews on this channel tomorrow. Very special Oscar video coming out. I'll see you over there.